Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm back in Rocky Bay. My happy place. It was the place that I first came to when we were released from lockdown in November of last year. And today now is the last couple of days that I am restricted to my county of Cork. So next week I'll be able to get back to my beloved Kerry. But I decided I wanted to come back to Rocky Bay because one of the things I love about this place is that every single time I come here, you're gonna get a different shot. The rocks right now are covered in a green uh, seaweed, and it's really, really vibrant. So we're hopefully going to have a nice evening of sunset. The clouds are nice and scattered up high on the western horizon. They looked clear, so it might be that these clouds on the far end here will catch, but we're going to have some fun anyway here today, back to my happy place, back to see what I can find, and back to explore my beloved sea. After I just arriving now, already as you can see here, the colors of the green is extremely vibrant. And I'd normally go to the other side of the beach over here, but I've decided to come this side because the light is now shining as you can see on me, which is lighting up these uh, rocks with the vibrant green on them. I just brought the camera along here and just took a simple test shot just from a composition point of view. What I'm going to try and do is play around with this group of rocks that are there. I think it will be nice with the flowing water uh, coming around it as well. So what I'm going to do is put on some filters. I'm going to go for a relatively long enough exposure um, just to kind of smooth out that water and kind of give it that ethereal effect and such like that as well. It will be a nice evening. This place is littered with a huge amount of compositions. Like I said from the outset, what I love about Rocky Bay is that you'll always get a different shot every time that you arrive. And hopefully today will be no different to any time I've experienced it in the past. Um, out to the horizon, like I said a moment ago, you've got some nice high clouds that are there. Sun is shining on me as well at the moment, so hopefully they'll light up, which will give a nice contrast to what we have here as well, I think, uh, within the image. If we get some nice, you know, bright golden um, reds, oranges and stuff like that, uh, I think it will be a very, very nice shot. There's not much movement in the water as well, so that's why I'm electing to go for a long exposure, because normally I'd go for a half a second exposure, which is my preferred time, but that's not going to make much of a difference here unless I'm in the action. Now, I do have my uh, welly boots on so I can go into the water. So I'll see now what compositions will present themselves. But I'll take this one anyway here first and then we'll see how we get on from there. really happy that I've decided to come to the left hand side of the beach today because with all this green it really is popping and there's a couple of rock pools that are here and I found a sequence of rocks that are more or less kind of meandering out but they're not meandering out to sea they're meandering out to the headland that's going to be in the distance there will still be a gap in the horizon you can still see the separation as well between here and the horizon so I've come down quite low to be able to kind of 
emphasize the detail that's within these uh, rocks. I've taken three shots because I want to get everything sharp, so one close, one mid, one far, and I'll blend those as well in post later. Settings at the moment, I'm still going for a 30 second exposure. After I had it over there, I've left the filters on, and by doing that as well, it is smoothing out that water completely because the water is just kind of trickling in here and disrupting the flatness. So by doing that, you get it flat now you don't have the reflection as well that's in the sky so i more than likely will take that off as well and take a couple of quick shots because you can see now that these clouds are hopefully going to catch the light is nearly upon us so if i can find a nice composition maybe even this one i might wait until the light will catch and then i get a bit of color in the sky as well behind it but for now anyway yeah really happy i came to the left hand side and i'm going to play around here find a couple of different compositions, fine tune a couple of different compositions, and I'll check back in in a moment. Here's the composition that I've decided to settle on for the evening and I want to show something. I've done it before but I'll show it right now to show the power of a polarizer. So as you can see, you can see some shine here on the water. I have my polarizer on the front of my lens but once I turn the polarizer you will see that it's going to start polarizing that water and making the reflection go away and allowing you then be able to see into the pools of water. You keep going and it will continue around so you just need to make sure that you're twisting in the right positioning and then getting your area that you want polarized so that you can then grab the shot. It's not looking like it's going to kick off. There's a bit of cloud as you can see here behind me and it does seem to be catching a small bit of light but on the western horizon I can see some dark clouds which more than likely will have swallowed up the light but if it does catch I do think it will be nice. There's still a chance because there is some bit of colour in the upper atmosphere clouds. Now, again, you know, it might catch. There's still a chance. We're still around about 15 minutes until sunset. So if there is a gap, then we will have a burst of light. So I need to be ready to be able to get that shot quickly. I have my camera set up pretty much in the same composition as I would have had earlier on as well. So if that does uh, happen, I'll be perfectly positioned to be able to grab the shot. I'm going to take the shot anyway. I'm going to hang around and see um, what type of colour I can get and any sort of subtleness that I can see in the colour and I'm going to be able to take that shot as well but I really enjoyed my trip to the left hand side of Rocky Bay today it really has held up to its name it is a bay full of rocks I've been here a number of times before and every single time like I said from the outset I'll always get a different shot um, the shot that I've taken here as well I've played around with a landscape orientation and I've also played around with a portrait orientation. I've put on my polarizer, I've taken off my polarizer. I've put on a graduated ND to control the sky, I've taken it off. I've put on a full ND to be able to get a long exposure and smooth out the water and I've also taken some fast shots. So I've really kind of played around with the different exposure types and also the composition. I think I've fine-tuned that as well because um, I wanted it to kind of lead in to the, into the scene. Um, thank you very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give me a comment, and until the next time, Shlonga Fall.